Basically, your expected score is what you would have expected to see on the scoreboard from the quality of shots that you had at goal. The way you win a game is by scoring. The way that you do that is build up your potential to score with your play. The end result of that attack is a shot, and that shot will have a certain percentage chance of going in, which we believe is dependent on distance, angle, the pressure on the shooter. Those three things together give you a formula that you can use to say, well, this one's a 65% chance, this one's a 45% chance. So if a player is shooting from the, effectively the top of the goal square, taking into account the short distance from goal, minimal angle, the little pressure on the shooter, he should be converting this at least 95% of the time, which means it's expected to be worth around about 5.7 points on the scoreboard. So he misses, that means it's one point on the real scoreboard, but on our virtual expected points, they've gained 5.7, almost the entire goal. This player's tight on the boundary, a long way out, under direct physical pressure. He's got less than a 30% chance of converting from here, which in expected score measures is around about two points. When he converts to six, it's a bonus for the team. The expected score is a more reliable indicator of the difference in quality between the teams. So Hawthorne's already using the expected score, say at quarter time, if they're behind on the scoreboard but they're ahead on expected score, they'd be telling that to the players. They'd be saying, look, what we're doing is working. We're just having a bit of bad luck shooting for goal. What expected score gives you is the sum of your efforts. What we're adding up is all those fractions of a chance of getting the goal, and that's a better indicator of whether you should win the game or not.